It's not a big cornering car. You don't, you don't take corners real sharp in this thing. My name is Ken Brailer, standing here next to my 1975 Cadillac Eldorado convertible. Right now it's a triple white. Uh, originally out of the factory it had a uh, persimmon color top, but it had to be replaced after one of my kids fell through it from the roof of a raptor in the barn. So I can't drive around with a hole in the top. Whenever I can, the top goes down. It's either down and everything's open or it's all the way up. I don't want to be one of those guys that ride around with the top down and all the windows up. I know the kids remember driving around in the car and I'm driving around with the top down and they're all cold in the back and they're down there in the, in the wheel well in the back. We're cold. I don't care. It's sunny and we're going to ride the car. It might be a little chilly, but you, you just turn the heat on a little bit. You can do that. You can ride around with the heat on and the top down. I always liked the big old boats, like the big Lincolns and the big Cadillacs. This thing here, it, it floats. This, this car does not drive, it floats. You just have the, the whole sky is open to you. You know, everything is, everything is there. You just put the top down and you know, you have unobstructed view no matter, no matter where you want to go. And then it takes on a whole different look and a whole different appearance. And, you also look a little cooler driving it too. That's part of it. If you're going to buy a convertible, you got to look cool too. Because you don't see these cars that often. I mean, it's just amazing to think that Detroit put out cars that weighed 5,500 pounds to drive a 150 pound, 200 pound person around. 